Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Bakugan Geogon Rising Geogon Brawler Pack, um, which includes Ventus Bobadrill Pyro Stardox. You can see Bobadrill is part of um, Vill Ultimate Villock. You can see here anything you want to see. I'm flip it flipping it over. You also have included Aquos Nilius, Hales Rascal, and Pyrus Falcron. Um, so yeah, let's just open this up. Alright, so here are the contents of the box. You have like a... let's see what this is. Uh, oh, it's just a rule book. A pretty basic rule book. Uh, the cards, the cores, the Geogon, two of them, and three core Bakugan. So here we have Baba Drill. Um, Baba Drill is sort of a monkey Bakugan. Maybe it's a baboon. Um, you can see the head sculpt is pretty nice. You can see the eyes. Or a, uh, yeah, a baboon probably. Um, I like this head sculpt. It's pretty detailed um, and pretty nice. Um, the gray paint really adds to the face because the uh, the yellow makes it look pretty convincing as a uh, ape creature. Um, I wish they had like fist molding here because these are supposed to be sort of the fists, but I guess there's some kind of underneath there, but I wish there were these were like molded like fists. Um, you can see gear ports are on the shoulders, but um, you'll notice it has other holes that are bigger, and that's for um, Ultimate Villoc, of course. And a flip out peg for Ultimate Villoc as well. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. You have a peg right there that flips out for Ultimate Villoc. Um, unfortunately, as you might be able to tell by my setup, um, I recently moved to uh, college, so I I accidentally forgot a lot of my Bakugan back home. So I don't have Villoc on me right now, so I can't show you how that combines. But just know, uh, as soon as I get another Villoc or maybe some other Geogon with Ultimate Villoc, um, I'll show you how that combines. Um, so anyway, a uh, thousand B power. Um, and to fold up, let's see. Yeah, there we go. So to fold up, close in the head and the tail, or the back legs rather, and then fold in one arm and fold in the other. And there you go. And you can see it's sort of a cube within like a cylinder with um, a truncated cube inside of a cylinder, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, Ventus and nice, again, nice um, clear green plastic and uh, opaque plastic. So that's pretty cool. Whoops. There, there we go. Now we have Pyrostardox. Um, 2300 B power, that's pretty nice. Um, and you can see it's transparent red plastic and uh, opaque red plastic and orange paint and green paint. Um, you can see the eye looks pretty nice. Very good sculpting there. And I like how the neck part is transparent, or translucent rather. It looks really nice. Um, gear ports on the back three Tentacles, the front two don't have them. The bottom, the Pyrus logo. Pretty basic design, but I like it. Um, now to fold up. Let's see, fold, fold up, fold up the eye first. So fold in the eye and then fold down the whole eye stock. Fold in the front two and then fold in, or no. Fold in the eye, fold in the front two, fold in the back one, and then fold in those two. 
and there you go. It's kind of like a, um, what do you call this? A pentagonal pyramid with like a rounded bottom, which is pretty cool. Magnet there. Yeah, pretty nice. Now let's get onto the Bakugan. Whoops. Stay there. This Pyrus Falcon. Nice green on orange paint like a Pyrus Bakugan normally is. Um, red plastic, you know, pretty standard. Not too crazy. Pyrus logo, no gray paint or anything. Or I guess we can roll it open. Let's just set some cores up. Lots of helixes with this set. So if you like helix cores, this might be a good deck to get. Good set to get, rather. Um, so arrows that way. Whoops. Oh, it doesn't want to open. Okay, there we go. Oh, it doesn't pick up two cores. Oh, well. Um, so you can see Falcon. A pretty neat design. Um, the two wings out there, 700B power is not terrible, but we'll have to see the card later. The head sculpt is always nice. They usually make head sculpts really nice. The arm sculpting is really nice, and it has separate legs that pop out, which is cool. Um, and the tails look really nice. And there's a bit of gray paint on there. Overall, I think Falcon Core is a great design. Even the wings look really nice. Um, orange paint there. Pyrus logo on the symbol on the shoulder. Really cool design overall. Um, to fold up, fold in the head, fold in the leg, fold in the wing, fold in the leg, wing, tail. Next up, here we have Chaos for Rascal Core. A Chaos logo there. Um, light blue paint, you can see a little bit of dark blue there. Light blue paint, gear port here. Oh yeah, and on Falcon, there's three gear ports, top and on the wings. Um, anyway, I already kind of went over Farascal in one of my previous reviews, so go check out that one. That was the other Geogon um, brawler pack that I reviewed that had a Pyrus Farascal. So yeah, for my full opinion on how it looks and functions, look at that. So arrows this way, so... Yeah. There we go. Um, and you can see 500 base B power, which is okay, but not great. Um, anyway, taking a look at Frasco Core, it looks really nice. Um, kind of like Cubo again. Um, interesting way to do the feet and the hands. But what's really cool about this one is, if you notice, the inside of the eye is actually like off-white. It's like brownish which is nice because it differentiates it from the white plastic. So really cool. Next up, we have Aquos Nilius. Pretty nice ball design. You can see these look really nice painted. Um, arrow, there's a tiny bit of orange, but mostly light blue and dark blue. There we go. Here is Nelius Core. 400 B power, so not great. These two legs come down, sort of like Falcron. And now Nelius in this season has three heads. Very menacing, like Alpha Hydranoid in the previous one. And wings. So again, it's it's basically like Alpha Hydranoid, which is really cool. I love Alpha, Alpha Hydranoid from the original series. Um, gear ports here, here, and here. Um, the three heads are really nicely sculpted. You can see um, you can see the head detail on the top. They have paint on the top, which is nice. These two have green eyes, and this one has orange eyes, which is quite interesting. Um, yeah, and then it has tiny arms. Um, overall, a pretty cool design, and sort of this tail that looks a lot like um, Armored Alliance Nilius's tail, which is pretty cool. Um, and the wings look really nice. Um, they have these holes in them, but I think this works okay. Overall, a pretty cool core Bach gun design. Um, now to fold up.
center line. First, you want to do the tail, and then you do the side head, foot, wing, head, foot, wing, and then the middle head. And there you go. So that's all of those done. Now let's take, whoops, let's take a look at these cores. First the shields, minus 300, decent trap, plus 300, which is okay, but you'd rather have a faction plus 400, unless you're RLS, but there's no RLS in this set, so. Uh, minus 300, so not great. Two trap cores you can use for core swapping abilities or something, maybe. A plus 300, not good either, so. Wouldn't recommend using these personally. Now let's take a look at these. Helix plus five minus 200, good damage. So this might be good for certain Bakugan. Plus 600 minus three, great core. Best B, bo B boost and Helix. Minus 100 mi plus four, not good. If you're gonna have decrease your B power and add damage, you, want, you would go for this one. So overall, these two cores, good. These four cores, eh, I wouldn't use them. Now onto the checklist. You can pause at any point to look at any specific thing. Um, yeah, there we go. So now we have a gate card. Gives biggest bonuses to Aquos, Ventus, and Arlis, all 700, minus 200 for Pyrus, Chaos, Darkus. Pause to see the card art. Um, you can read the gate number is 22. Next up, we have another gate card. 300, 100, 300, 600, 200, 100. So best Chaos, 03, 003 rather. Um, oh, another gate card. Minus 200, plus, uh, plus 700 for Aquos, RLS, Darkus. Minus 200, Chaos, Ventus, Pyrus. RLS, Pyrovian. Gate 23. Pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the cards. Stardox. Five cost, 2,300, three reroll. Um, not good. 2,300 Bs, not good for 5 energy, and it's only one turn, it's not an Evo either, so reroll is nice, but definitely not worth this. Don't use this. Bobadrill, 1 cost, 1,000 plus 500 on Green Fist, 1 damage. Um, This could be good. For 1 cost, this is nice, and if you have a green fist on your t deck. Um, this could be good because if I recall, the best green boost, green fist booster is plus 150. So for one energy, at, you can get up to 1650, which is not bad. And I forget how much damage that green fist gives. I think it's two, so three damage. But if not, I'll correct it over here and I'll show you what the actual stats are for the best B with this. But this this might be good. I think this is usable. So keep an eye out for Bomba Drill. Action. Fire Floor. Plus two damage. Uh, scan. Um, okay, if you're going for damage wins plays. If not, don't use this. Ventus Pyrus. 4 cost, plus 12. Again, not terrible, but you have to be going for damage wins plays, or I wouldn't use this, but maybe this has a use. Flash attack. Chaos, 2 cost, plus 5 damage. Uh, not worth it. Pyrus, Aventus, Fusion Thunder Run, 6 cost, 1,500. A bit steep. Decent B for the energy, but you probably would pass this up because unless you have insane energy ramp, this probably isn't great, but um, but yeah, 
if you have really good energy ramp with Ventus, this might be good. Otherwise, you probably want to spend the space in your deck for something else. So wouldn't recommend this, but maybe if you have certain decks. Aquos Chaos, one cost, plus two damage, draw one. Um, not terrible, but nah, it's a damage booster. Hails for Ascal Core. Here are the character cards. Shield Helix, which is good. Helix is good. 501, not good stats, but plus 600 on Helix. So on a plus 600 Helix, you get up to 1,700, which is really, really high. The unfortunate thing is on plus 600 Helix, you got minus 3. So you add 0 damage. So you want to combine this with a Shadow Strike ability or maybe a Baku gear. I'd suggest Scorching Swords. Um, something like that would be really good with this. Or you could use it as your team attacker if you want. Overall, pretty good. Um, overall, really good, but you have to have Shadow Strike to make it really worth it. Falcron, 701, double helix. Um, again, sort of same problem with Frascal. You kind of want Shadow Strike on this because to get to 1,300 on a Helix, you need that Shadow Strike to keep you from doing zero damage, but not bad. Double Helix is decent with the rise of Helixes. He has Frascal, and obviously from Armored Alliance, the big bad threat, Aquos Hydros. Um, uh, helixes are pretty good. So maybe worth considering. Maybe. Aquas Nilius. Double shield, 406. Not worth using. Only gets up to 800 on the shields. Yeah, don't use this. So overall, in terms of viability, don't use. Maybe use. Really good for character cards. Um... Probably not going to use, probably not, but maybe, maybe not terrible. Not good, not good, not good. Pretty solid, not good. So overall, these cards I would consider not ever using, or I guess also with this character card. Don't ever use these cards, honestly. They're bad. This... And this might be okay. This might be okay. These two cards might be okay. This I would use if you're doing Green Fist. Great card. Very solid. This is a definite plus. This is really good. So overall, these two cards are really good. These two cores are really good. That, those are the main draws of the set for competitive players. So TLDR competitive players these two cards these two cores if you're a competitive player and you don't need, feel the need for any of this don't buy the set um, but if you are a competitive player look out for these if you're just a collector though yeah this set's pretty nice it comes with two geogon that look both pretty nice you might already have stardoxes but not pyrus um bob drill is really cool and it's new for wave three um, Stardust, Pyro Stardux looks pretty nice. Falcron is a great ball design, but you might already have Falcrons from your collection. Nelius is a really great ball design. You probably don't have too many of these, so this would be a nice addition. And Frascal has been there since Wave 1, like Falcron, so... And this one I know was in other packs, like Aquas Dragonite Ultra. So if you're a collector, maybe pick this up. Um, but pretty cool Bakugan, so if you're looking for cool Bakugan in terms of molds and play, these are great. Competitive, again, these. Anyway, that's it for this review. Comment below any questions or if you want me to review any Bakugan things, new or old. Um, feel free to like and subscribe. Anyway, that's it, so thanks for watching. Bye.